Uh, joining us now, political commentator and author Joanne Nadler and comedian and broadcaster Matt Ford, who uh, starts his new political series, uh, comedy show Unspun, later this month on Dave. I think it's a week on Sunday, isn't it? That's right. Uh, right. Uh, let's start with the, um, the summit that's happening at Sandhurst today. Monsieur Macron, uh, Matt, is arriving. Uh, he'll be quite excited, won't he? Uh, Theresa May offering £44 million pounds to beef up security. He will. Well, it's a fascinating row because uh, we decided to leave the European Union. Mm. And when you leave something, you then have to pay bills for services you use. And all these Tory MPs that wanted us to leave the European Union are now up in arms that we're going to have to pay the French to keep our border on their land. I'm... Well, I think they're concerned about how much we're paying them, because we've already paid something like £175 million or whatever. Over the last few years, haven't we? Yeah. Exactly. You but, think they're beefing but... up the cost parts and labour and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I think so. that, that's what they're... The question they're asking is, what, what exactly is this money going towards? Which is a perfectly reasonable question, but the principle, as you say, is also quite fair, that uh, if we're buying some services, then mm. clearly we have to pay for them. The alternative, of course, was that the border would move from Calais over to the UK, which seemed, um, you know, if you're uh, France, probably seems quite a reasonable proposal. <laughs> but exactly. of course, if you're British, you would want the border to stay in Calais. Exactly. I think a lot of British people don't realise that the British border isn't in Britain. I think people don't actually realise, until you, unless you get the Eurostar or you've been to France, you don't realise that actually they're doing us a massive favour mm. and we spent years slacking them off and actually mm. they've been on our side. It does feel a little bit though, like Jan said, that the £167 million pounds that we've paid in the last four years, they're coming back and they're saying, right, we'll have a little bit more now and so Theresa May says, here's another £45 million. Pounds. What happens in a couple of years' time? They say, right, actually, we fancy a little bit more now, please. The grand scheme of government budgets, it doesn't sound like a lot. I mean, it would be a lot of money to me. <laughs> I haven't got £44 million pounds to, oh, to give on. the French for right my, per my way, personal security. <laughs> But in the grand scheme of gov government budgets, was now running into yeah, the trillions. There's no reason why that shouldn't be uh, held to scrutiny. I Absolutely. mean, we're, we're hearing a lot of other stories in the news this week where public money hasn't, perhaps, or the spending of it hasn't mm. been uh, watched adequately and carefully. So I think if it's done in that spirit, that's reasonable. Especially as long as Carillion don't run it, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be honest, that's fairly unlikely. 